Now, after a series of ruthless executions of top military officials, North Korean leader Kim Jong Un is now focusing on beefing up the regime's military capabilities. Uh, Han Dan reports. The anti ship rocket has drastically increased our Navy's maritime operational capacity. Those were the words uttered by North Korean leader Kim Jong un after a test of the regime's latest surface to surface anti ship missiles. According to the state run Korean Central News Agency Monday, the drill was conducted recently by the Navy's 597th Combined Unit with Kim in attendance. The specific date of the drill is unknown. The KCNA said the quote, ultra modern anti ship rocket flew at a guided altitude and hit the bullseye on target, praising its accuracy. Kim was reportedly very satisfied with the drill, saying it displayed the formidable power of the North's military. The report comes a day after the North fired three short range KN 01 missiles into the East Sea. While going all out to beef up the state's military capabilities, Kim Jong un also appears to be busy rearranging the military leadership. Speculation is high that a four star general in the Korean People's Army, Park Yong sik, may have been named as Pyongyang's next defense chief to replace purged defense minister Hyun Young chol Park's name came just after that of Hwang Byung ho the current number one in the North's military. In the KCNA news report on Kim Jong un's attendance at a military arts event. Pundits also say the fact that Pak's name came just before that of Di Yong Gil, the chief of the general staff of the Korean People's Army, could be another sign that Pak has risen to become the next defense chief. And then, Arirang News.